the town musicians of Bremen. Hello, this is Natasha, and Prince Bertie the Frog has asked me to tell you a tale about four animals who ran away to form a band and play music. They were so successful that the Brothers Grimm wrote a story about them. Their band was called the Town Musicians of Bremen. A certain man had a donkey, which had carried the corn sacks to the mill loyally for many a long year, but his strength was going, and he was growing more and more unfit for work. Then his master began to wonder if it was worth his while keeping this old donkey much longer. The donkey, seeing that no good wind was blowing, ran away, and set out on the road to Bremen. There, he thought, I can surely be town musician. When he had walked some distance, he found a dog lying on the road, gasping like one who had run till he was tired. What are you gasping so for, you big fellow? Asked the donkey. Ah, replied the dog, as I am old, and daily grow weaker. And can no longer hunt. My master wanted to kill me, so I ran away. But now how am I to earn my bread? I'll tell you what," said the donkey. "I am going to Bremen, and shall be a town musician there. Go with me and work also as a musician. I will play the lute, and you shall beat the kettle drum." The dog agreed. And on they went. Before long, they came to a cat sitting on the path with a face like three rainy days. Now then, old Fluff and Claws, what's gone all wrong with you? Asked the donkey. Who can be merry when his neck is in danger? Answered the cat. Because I am now getting old and my Teeth are worn to stumps, and I prefer to sit by the fire and spin rather than hunt about after mice. My mistress wanted to drown me, so I ran away. But now good advice is scarce. Where am I to go? Go with us to Bremen. You understand night music. You can be a town musician. The cat thought well of it and went with them. It came after this, the three runaways came to a farmyard, where the cockerel was sitting upon the gate, cock a doodle doing with all his might. Your cock a doodle doing goes through and through my skull," said the donkey. "What is the matter? Guests are coming for Sunday, and the housewife has no pity." Said the cockerel, and has told the cook that she intends to eat me in the soup tomorrow. And this evening I am to have my head cut off. Now I'm a cockerel doodle doing at full pitch while I can. Ah,、oh, you red-headed bird," said the donkey. "You had better come away with us. We are going to Bremen. You can find something better than death everywhere." You have a good voice, and if we make it together, it must have some quality. The cockerel agreed to this plan, and all four went together. They could not, however, reach the city of Bremen in one day, and in the evening they came to a forest where they meant to pass the night. The donkey and the dog laid themselves down under a large tree. And the cat and the cockerel settled themselves in the branches, but the cockerel flew right to the top where he was most safe. Before he went to sleep, he called out to his companions that there must be a house not far off, for he saw a light. The donkey said, "If so, we had better get up and go on, for the shelter here is bad." The dog thought that a few bones with some good meat would do him good too, so they moved further on, 
and soon saw the light shine brighter and grow larger, until they came to a well-lit robber's house. The donkey, as the biggest, went to the window and looked in. What do you see, my grey horse? asked the cockerel. What do I see? answered the donkey. A table covered with good things to eat and drink, and robbers sitting at it enjoying themselves. That would be the sort of thing for us, said the cockerel. Yes, yes. Oh, how I wish we were there, said the donkey. Then the animals put their heads together and schemed how best to win an invitation to come inside and join the robbers at the table. Come, come, my friends, said the donkey. We are musicians, so let us sing for our supper. So they began to perform their music together. The donkey brayed, the dog barked, the cat mewed, and the cockerel cock a doodle dooed. Then they burst through the window into the room so that the glass clattered. At this horrible din, the robbers sprang up, thinking no otherwise than that a ghost had come in, and they all fled in a great fright out into the forest. The four companions now sat down at the table, well content with what was left and ate as if they were going to fast for a month. As soon as the four musicians had done, they put out the light and each found a sleeping place according to his nature and to what suited him best. The donkey laid himself down upon some straw in the yard, the dog behind the door, the cat upon the hearth near the warm ashes, and the cockerel perched himself upon a beam on the roof and being tired from their long walk, they soon went to sleep. When it was past midnight, and the robbers saw from afar that the light was no longer burning in their house, and all appeared quiet, the captain said, We ought not to let ourselves be frightened out of our wits, and ordered one of them to go and examine the house. The messenger, finding all still, went into the kitchen to light a candle, and taking the glistening fiery eyes of the cat for burning coals, he held the candle to them to light it. But the cat did not understand what he meant to do, and flew in his face, spitting and scratching. He was dreadfully frightened, and ran back to the door, but the dog, who lay there, sprang up and bit his leg. And as he ran across the yard by the straw heap, the donkey gave him a smart kick with its hind foot. The cockerel, too, which had been awakened by the noise and had become lively, cried down from the beam, cock a doodle do Then the robber ran back as fast as he could to his captain and said, Oh, there is a horrible witch sitting in the house who spat on me and scratched my face with her long claws. And by the door stands a man with a knife who stabbed me in the leg. And in the yard there lies a black monster who beat me with a wooden club. And above, upon the roof, sits the judge who called out, Bring the rogue here to me. So I got away as well as I could. After this, the robbers did not trust themselves in the house again. But it suited the four musicians of Bremen so well that they did not care to leave it any more. And that's the story of the town musicians of Bremen by the Brothers Grimm. Bertie says that the town musicians of Bremen are one of the coolest bands ever. I'll be back with another story soon. In the meantime, don't forget there are loads of free stories you can download from storynori.com. Until next time, from me, Natasha, bye-bye!